Hey everyone, it's your favorite West Coast Zangief Vodka here with another Geef tutorial. This time, we're going to be focusing on the final Atomic Buster, generally known as the 720. For this tutorial, I will be focusing on Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. This game has the most strict windows for performing 720, so if you're able to perform it in this game, you'll be able to do it in all subsequent Street Fighter games. So let's jump right into it. To perform the 720, you'll at least need to be able to do the regular 360 motion or a regular SPD. If you don't know how to do the 360 motion, just check out the link to my previous video on how to do the spinning power driver. So now you're doing the 360 motion with your eyes closed, right? So how do we do the 720 motion? That's another whole 360 motion on top of the previous 360 motion. Same concept as before, to activate the 720, you'll need to hit the four cardinal directions going clockwise or counterclockwise, except this time, you'll need to trigger each direction twice. You can start the input from any direction, including left, right, up, or down. You just need to rotate the joystick clockwise or counterclockwise twice. I'd like to think of three possible ways of landing the 720. Number one, doing the motion in the air and activating it when you land on the ground. Number two, whipping a lagging move on the ground into a 720. And number three, doing a tick on the ground and buffering it into a 720. Now this will be a three-part series, and I'll be focusing on the first method in this tutorial, doing the motion in the air. While Zangief is in the air, you'll want to rotate the joystick in a clockwise or counterclockwise motion twice, and activating it when he lands. I tend to start the motion at the peak of Zangief's jump, so that by the time he lands, I should be inputting the last input of the 720 upon my landing. You can do this by jumping and not hitting a button and landing and doing the 720, but the general good practice is to do a light kick into the 720. You can use Zangief's light kick or his knees. Here's an extra tip. Spin the stick in a counterclockwise motion from the one player side or a clockwise motion from the two player side. The reason for this is because in Super Turbo, the inputs for green hand overlaps with the inputs for SPD. To avoid having the green hand come out accidentally, you'll want to spin in a motion that's the opposite of the green hand motion. Now if you're playing any games that's not Super Turbo, then you won't have to worry about this as the motion for green hand was changed to the dragon punch motion in the later Street Fighter games. It actually took me a few months to be comfortable with doing the 720, and I'm hoping this video will reduce that time for you. A couple of tips that may help you learn it faster. Number one, go into training mode and turn on all your inputs. That way you can see if you're indeed hitting all eight directions correctly. Number two, slow it down. You're probably doing the motion much faster than you actually need to. The input window for the 720 is actually much bigger than what you think it is. In fact, Doing the motion too fast and too soon is probably causing you to have a lot of input errors which causes the 720 not to come out. Like playing an instrument, practice makes perfect. So start churning that butter and I'll be seeing you in the second part of my 720 tutorial. Hi, thanks for watching my video. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video or drop a comment below if you have any questions. You can follow me at twitch at twitch.com slash Tell me how you out and watch me demonstrate muscle power live.